Welcome back to Book Break. It is time for another round of your personalised book recommendations. So you guys have been sending in loads of requests for the exact book you're looking for right now. And oh boy, did you make them hard this time. I have been trawling through my bookshelves to come up with the perfect book for each of you. So as always, do leave comments below if you have something specific you're looking for because I love finding these recommendations for you. But let's get started. The first request was from Boo Jingleful, who wanted a book set on a campus but not focused on a middle-aged professor's midlife crisis over a young female student, and preferably not a romance. Quite the challenge there. So I've actually come up with three options. The first one is The Secret History by Donna Tartt. I love this book. This is set on an American university campus and it centers around a group of classic students who we learn from the beginning are somehow responsible for the death of another student. And so we keep flashing back to find out what happened. But a totally different kind of book that I also wanted to throw in here is Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. So this one does have some romance, but that's not the centre of the story. It's more about our main character, Kath, and her relationship with her twin sister, who they were always really, really close until they went to university, and her sister is much more of an extrovert than she is. So suddenly they start leading these pretty different lives. And it's also a lot about Kath's relationship with her writing, her passion for creative writing and fan fiction. And then one more, I couldn't help it because all of these books are so different I just wanted to mention them all. My last one is Americana by Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie. So this is about two Nigerian university students who are forced to leave their university because of the strikes and so one of them ends up at an American university and the other ends up an undocumented immigrant in London. And so the story is only partly set on a campus but the academic experience is quite central to the book so I still thought it would be relevant for your prompt. So do let me know which of the three of those sounds most exciting to you. But now moving on to James Simpson, he asked for a book with an author similar to Evelyn War, and so I had to go for P.G. Woodhouse, I absolutely love P.G. Woodhouse, start with the Jeeves and Worcester series. So this is about a ridiculously posh man called Bertie Worcester, who's a bit stupid really, and he hires a valet called Jeeves, who always has to end up saving the day and getting Bertie out of these ridiculous scrapes he ends up in, but also somehow manages to slightly humiliate Bertie along the way and there was a TV show where Jeeves and Worcester were played by Stephen Fry and Hugh Laurie and they were just such a fantastic comedy double act. Steve Megan asked for a cynical piece of cult fiction that will make me question the meaning of life and for this I'm going to recommend A Clockwork Orange by Anthony Burgess. So this one is set in a dystopian future with a really violent youth culture and our main character is a 15 year old boy who's the leader of one of these gangs and commits a series of really brutal crimes until he's arrested. And he's then forced through this treatment that's supposed to cure him of his violent urges and the book basically explores whether this treatment is actually more cruel and immoral than the crimes he was committing in the first place. So lots for you to question about life in there. Little Spark of Ronnie had lots of ingredients for the perfect novel. Diverse characters, strong female lead, LGBTQ, hurts your heart, but not fantasy. So I'm going to recommend Under the Udala Trees by Chinelo Okparanta. I think this book has got everything you asked for. So it's about two Nigerian girls from different tribes who meet during the Nigerian Civil War and fall in love. And the book then follows one of these girls, Ijeoma, as she grows up and wrestles with hiding her sexuality and her relationship with her family and with her faith. So this is a really powerful book that was written in response to the 2014 laws that were passed in Nigeria against homosexuality, which were some of the strictest in the world. A Bitch Reads wanted a summary book written by an author of colour that focuses on a list. So this one was quite the challenge, but I have found the perfect book, and that is A Bucket Full of Awesome by Zainab T. Khan. So this is a YA novel about a teenage girl called Summer Wallace, who's a basketball player, who's really wild and tries to turn every day into an adventure. But then when she's diagnosed with cancer, she comes up with this bucket list of the things that she still hasn't done, and she recruits her best friend Blake, who I am willing to bet 
is secretly in love with her, but I can't guarantee to help her complete it. Paige Emily 95 wanted the book version of Desperate Housewives, so a tight-knit community drama. So for this, I'm going to recommend The Rumour by Leslie Cara. So this is set in this small town, lots of gossiping around the school gates, it's very Desperate Housewives, it's very Big Little Lies. But in this book, the rumour going around is that one of the women in their community is actually in witness protection and previously had committed a murder. So it's partly a mystery as we try and work out which of the women has this secret identity, but it's also this just claustrophobic, really tense drama as the people in the town start to turn against the people they're suspicious of. Libro Cubicularist asked for three things. One, family drama, two, food, and three, coziness. So for that, I'm gonna recommend A Not Quite Perfect Family by Claire Sandy. So this is about a big eccentric family with a marriage in trouble, so lots of drama. It's also very much about food. It starts and ends with this big midsummer dinner that the family throw in their garden and takes us through the whole year with each month matching up to a different course of this dinner. So lots of drama, lots of food, but it's also this really cosy book because of all of the hilarious characters that pop up to support the couple through their difficult year. So it's a really funny story but with lots of drama and lots lots of heart. Courtney41 wanted to read about wealthy housewives navigating turmoil in the way only spoilt, bougie females can do, and this instantly made me think of The Favourite Sister by Jessica Knoll. Though I have to say, these women aren't housewives, they're actually cast members on this feminist reality show about career women, but I think you'll find it has everything you're after. These women are all so awful in their own ways. They are spoiled and competitive and selfish and all of the things that make reality TV so compelling. But the book is also really self-aware and feminist and actually dives into some pretty controversial issues. Burns Reads Books wanted a book with dark humour and sad bits, so I'm going to recommend The Heart's Invisible Furies by John Boyne. So this is about the whole life of this man. We meet him for the first time when he's still in his mother's womb and then check back in every seven years to see him growing up and navigating life as a gay Irish man. So a lot of the things that happen in his life are so sad. On paper, it's just tragic, but the book is told in this really funny way. Lots and lots of dark humour. So you kind of end up laughing your way through all of these really sad things that happen in his life. It's absolutely brilliant. MB the 1975 wanted a book about a group of friends that go on an adventure, but not YA and not it. So I've got two options for you here. The first one is skirting dangerously close to the things you said you didn't want. You said you didn't want it, but you didn't say no Stephen King. And so I'm going to recommend The Body by Stephen King, which is the book that the film Stand By Me was based on. And it's not YA, but it is a coming of age story about four young boys who set out to investigate the disappearance of a boy from their town. But if you want one that's about adults, I have a horror recommendation, which is The Ritual by Adam Neville. So this is about four old uni friends who meet up for a camping trip that goes horribly wrong. Pretty early into their trip, they stumble across this old house where they find the remains of a pagan sacrifice and this dark ritual that maybe hasn't completely died out yet. Next, Leanne from the YouTube channel Literary Diversions, the Instagram account Novel Menagerie, asked for a psychological thriller not about a romantic relationship. So I'm going to recommend You Are Not Alone by Greer Hendricks and Sarah Pekkanen. I'm sorry Leanne, I can't remember if you've already read this one or not. But it's funny, I realised that Leanne was right when she said this. So many psychological thrillers revolve around these dark romantic relationships. And this one doesn't at all, this is about a group of friends. So it begins when our main character witnesses a woman jumping in front of a subway train and is obviously really traumatised by this. But then, by chance, she ends up meeting some of this woman's friends. And so she gets sucked into this new friendship group and finds her life seeming to just get better and better. So much so that she doesn't notice her new friends have sinister motives of their own. Stranded Island Reading wanted a sci-fi book by an LGBT author, so you should read A Memory Called Empire by Arcady Martin. So this is a political sci-fi with loads of plot twists, it's got a female-female romance and a big cast of other queer characters. The book has really strong world building and dives into loads of really deep issues. So there are these AIs who carry the biases of their human creators, and the book also dives into themes of culture and empire. So it sounds really intriguing. I'm not even a big sci-fi fan, and even I am intrigued by this one. 
Thrilled Reader asked for a dystopian book set in nature, so you should read The Trees by Ali Shaw. So this is a really unusual book, where one night, when people are asleep, these fully formed trees just shoot up from the ground, impaling people as they sleep, shattering houses, and then there is silence. So in this book, we follow our main character, Adrian, as he ventures into this new wood to try and find out how to contact his wife, Michelle. So it's part dark fairy tale, part wilderness survival story, part apocalypse and part just amusing on nature and how there is no good or bad in nature. It's just this force without morality that will devour its weakest. And then finally, I've got room for one more. Maria FR12 wanted a cosy classic written by a woman other than Jane Austen. So you should definitely read Cranford by Elizabeth Gaskell. So this is set in this English country town in the mid 19th century about two spinster sisters called Miss Matty and Miss Deborah. And the book is made up of a series of vignettes of country life. So there's not a ton of plot, it's just this cosy meandering story of community life and always centered on the friendship and affection between between these two women. So hopefully you all now have your perfect book recommendations. Do leave comments below if you want me to scout out any more books for you. And we have a whole playlist of videos like this if you'd like to click through and browse them all. See you next time.